Distinguished professional, a strong supporter of UCI engineering programs, and a community role model, Ramin Masumi earned a bachelor's degree in civil engineering in 1994. He began his career as a transportation engineer and is today a senior vice president and general manager for transportation systems at IDRIS, a world leader in applied informatics that turns big data into smart insights for transportation and agriculture. He started with IDRIS in 1998, and in the words of one of his nom nominators, the growth of Ramin's professional acumen demonstrates how instrumental engineers are in tackling the complex problems of making our roads safer and our for farms smarter. Ramin has served on the boards of directors of the Intelligent Transportation Society of California and is chairman of the board of its national counterpart, the Intelligent Transportation Society of America. Both of these influential organizations advocate and advance the research and employment of technologies that save lives, improve mobility, promote sustainability, and increase efficiency and productivity. Ramin had an early involvement in UCI's Institute of Transportation Studies and is a member of the UC-wide Institute of Transportation Studies Board of Advisors. For many years, he has been an industry lecturer and mentor at the San Yale School, teaching engineering students through real-world projects that offer hands-on experience. Internships for UCI students at IDRIS have many times translated into full-time jobs for anteaters upon their graduation. Through steadfast leadership, Ramin has taken time to travel to Washington, D.C. and Sacramento to advocate policy positions and gain supportive resources beneficial to our campus community. His letters to legislators remind them of UCI's economic and public impact in Orange County. A debt of gratitude to his alma mater has driven Ramin toward continual service at the university. From his appointment to the Samuel E. Schools Engineering Leadership Council to his engagement with students and faculty, Ramin extends his commitment to aspiring engineers and the campus community. On behalf of the UCI Samuel E. School of Engineering, I am pleased and proud to present this award to Ramin Masumi in recognition of his induction into the 2021 Engineering Hall, Alumni Hall of Fame. Ramin, the award will be mailed to you since we're not able to celebrate in person, but here's a look of what, uh, of what that award is. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. And Ramin, congratulations. And um, to start off, tell us what this recognition means to you. Um, well, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it, it's, it's an honor. To, to receive this award and be um, recognized as part of a much larger organization that really has uh, made such a great impact to Orange County, uh, the state of California and the nation. Um, this award really, it, it's to me, it's, it showcases uh, what UCI's impact is in the fields of engineering that I have had the privilege to participate in. It, it really, it showcases um, the level of effort the program puts in. And um, again, it's a true honor to be a recipient for this award. So uh, I thank you very much and I thank the university for it. Thank you. Um, looking back on your time at UCI, do you have a fond or favorite anteater memory? Well, there's, there's so many of them. Um, I, I, I would say probably one of them, uh, the, the ones that I remember the most was uh, back in 1991. Uh, there, there was, that was my second year at the university and I was walking on campus near uh, Middle Earth, uh, the housing complex of dorms. And I ran into a friend who was a neighbor and through that, we started talking, more friends came by, making a, a sort of a long story short, the person, I, through those conversations, I ended up meeting the person who I ended up getting engaged to, marrying in year 2000, and we have three beautiful kids together. So I would say, I have to say, that my fondest memory of UCI is meeting my uh, to-be spouse, Lisa, 
And uh, that really, uh, that's just one of the many fond memories I have from UCI and the strong relationships I, I built on campus. Wow, that's a great story. Thank you. Uh, uh, was there a particular class or professor who inspired you at your time at UCI? Uh, so, you know, sometimes I've been asked, how did I get into the field of transportation engineering? And, and I say it was an accident. And really it, it was, I entered the field of civil engineering with um, these expectations that I would be building the next skyscraper. That was my vision I had as a, as a graduating uh, senior from high school, as a 17 year old. Uh, but as I started getting into the civil engineering program, uh, the program allowed me to take classes in the very different fields or branches of civil engineering. And the very first transportation class I took was with Professor Steve Ritchie. And that's when I would say a spark uh, sort of ignited in me. And uh, I vividly remember his lecture. In fact, there was one lecture he kept on talking about queue lengths. And at that time, I had no idea what he was referring to or what the definition of a queue was. So again, that sort of began my relationship with the field of transportation. And there, um, other classes with Professor Mike McNelly, Dr. J, um, all phenomenal professors, phenomenal um, professionals, and very knowledgeable of the industry. And as I took more classes and decided to go down the path of specializing in transportation engineering, um, that's where I really found the passion, found the desire to continue. And so I, I would say if there, there wasn't really a single class, uh, but rather a number of professors that motivated me, inspired me, and really um, showed what transportation engineering was about. And that's the path I went down. So um, part, of, part of all everything I do is really owed to those individuals. And I, I believe UCI has always created this atmosphere that allows these uh, phenomenal faculty to shine, the research and the work they do. They're great teachers. And um, so those are the professors that I always remember from UCI. That's wonderful. Thank you, Thank you very much. That's really good to hear. Um, moving uh, more recently, what is one of your proudest engineering industry accomplishments? Um, so within, within the work that I've been primarily engaged in, um, our focus has been really, uh, you, you look at the transportation network in the United States, we have um, on average about 40,000 deaths on the roads of the US, um, almost 3 million crashes a year, uh, countless hours, over 100 hours of delay per person on the roads, pre-COVID obviously. So transportation is a fundamental element of people's lives, connecting people and connecting people to school, to education, to healthcare, to jobs. So a lot of the work that we do as transportation professionals and the work I've been involved with have been all focused on trying to solve some of these fundamental challenges that we have that by getting people uh, to their destination safely, they really opens the world to them, opens the possibilities and the opportunities to them. Once people have the opportunity to get to school, to again, healthcare and jobs. So some of my proudest accomplishments have all been around achieving that. Now that has varied throughout my 25 plus years of experience from um, some of the signal operations, signal timing work I've been involved with within the city of Irvine, actually, um, to some of the intelligent transportation system design and operation work I've been engaged with in other parts of the country from, uh, from Nevada to the Bay Area uh, to Virginia. Um, these efforts really have given me the opportunity to go to different parts of the country and, and do this work. Um, but one of the most memorable projects really 
going down to your question is uh, uh, several years ago, we worked on a transit project in Sacramento, uh, outside of downtown Sacramento, that provided a bus rapid transit service. And we deployed some really innovative technology that uh, afforded a transit signal priority. Again, it was about moving people uh, in the Sacramento community. But again, that's just one project. There's been many of them that uh, I would proudly say have hopefully have impacted people's lives in the book for the positive. That's great. Thank you very much. Our, our final question, your dedication to UCI has been extraordinary. What drives you to give back to your alma mater? Uh, the pride, a sense of pride. Um, I'm a deep down, so I've had, I've, I've received my master's degree from other universities, but I'm always deep down inside an anteater. Um, and it's that sense of pride. And I feel like there is, because I've taken away so much from UCI myself, both professionally and personally, I, I owe my family to UCI basically, as I as stated earlier. So it's, I, I believe as, as an alumni of UCI, part of my role is to pay it forward. Take what I have, UCI has given so much to me and take it and express that to others, present it to others, be it um, current students, other alumni from UCI. And UCI has a very strong alumni network, especially in Orange County. Mm -hmm. So everything I do is as a, as a way to show my gratitude to the amazing work UC Irvine does, the impact, amazing impact the university has. Um, as I said, in just not Orange County, but in the state of California and nationally, internationally. So I'm a big believer in that pay forward concept. And uh, that's why I do it. Um, I, I do it out of the bottom of my heart as a thank you. Well, wow, that's wonderful. Uh, Ramin, thank you. That's an inspiration. And we are so proud of you. And congratulations once again. Again, I, I really appreciate this. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you.